Hey, I'm Tay, and this is a quick review of Hybara Iron Android from Detective Conan manga and anime. She's the seventh Android from the franchise, and for now, she's the last one. I do hope for more character from this title, but to be honest, all I wanted is here right now, because Hybara Eye is my favorite character from Detective Conan. So let's start the review, knowing that I'm biased, and Hybara Eye is the best girl ever. Right from the start, you can see a small Totally Factory logo on the box. It means that Haibara was made in Japan. The number is standard, and I wonder if at any moment any employee of Goodsmell Company thought it would be a great idea to put a number of 4869 on the box. Because it worked nicely for Kaito Kid, and it would be a nice easter egg for any Detective Conan fan. But I guess for thousands are just too far in the future, unlike 1400s in Kid's case. The articulation of Haibara Iron Android is standard, she doesn't have a super movable body, but all in all the sculpt is neat, she doesn't have details that stick out, so for a standard Android she has a great range of movement. One thing that I should point out are her hands. This kind of arms and hands are pretty new for Nandroids, and I have yet to get used to the line on her wrist. But anyway, I think that it's a cool thing, because this way I can get more variety landing hands from other Nandroids. As for the faceplates, she comes with three faceplates. A standard one with a slight smile, a cute blushing one, that can also work as a surprised one, and also an exasperated one, which means frustrated, annoyed, all the emotions we love Haibara for. As I said, Haibara comes with interesting straight arms, in which you can change the hands. Additionally, she has one more similar arm, it's a bent one with pointing finger, the gesture that can work many ways, like pointing at someone, like hushing someone, or just for emphasizing. Next, she comes with crossed arms. These parts are self-explanatory. I like how they are made. They are not rubbery and consist of two parts. Then there are more arms. I found that they are called arms akimbo. To be honest, I never heard this phrase, but it seems like a legit one, even though I could just say arms on the hips. Right now you might think that she comes only with arms and hands, but no. She also comes with a chair and sitting parts for it. The chair is cute and done really nice. I hate that it has a pack at the bottom, but thankfully another pack at the bottom of Haibara's sitting parts is removable. These years I started to appreciate more any sitting parts of any Android. And finally, the last accessories are a laptop and typing hands for it. The laptop could be better, the position is set, but it's not a big deal. And the typing hands are just a nice addition. All in all, Haibara Iron Android doesn't come with much. A lot of arms and hands, a chair and a laptop. Spoiled by Marvel Nandroids, I would expect her to have another body in a lab coat, or maybe some lab equipment, or maybe a phone with a keychain with her favorite football player. Haibara exists for many years and there are a lot of accessories, faceplates, outfits that she can come with. And yet I wouldn't say that this Nintendo upsets me. Yeah, of course I can see that a lot more work and efforts went into making Kaito Kid Nintendo. But this is the case when I say that I'm happy just to have her on my shelf. I think that Haibara I deserves a lot of love fan love, any love, <laughs> and I'm happy that more real merch, more figurines of her have come out recently. So no surprise here, if you like Detective Conan manga and anime, or even you are a Haibara Eye fan like me, this is must buy for you. All Detective Conan androids are great and, and Haibara Eye is not an exception. And before we continue with the behind the scenes of my photoshoot with Haibara Eye, let me put two cents. It's about her accessories. First of all, the laptop, which is nice, small, cute, but can't be open or closed. And it could be a problem. For most ideas for posing or photos, opened laptop would work, but to be honest I'm afraid to break it. 
because it's easy to left it like this accidentally and then push it and break it. I'm not sure if it was a nice idea to make it like this, but there it is. Another thing that I wanted to point out concerns the chair. As I said in the review, it can't be removed and it should be on the stand all the time, so I can't use it in any dial and that's a bummer. <laughs> I wouldn't say that it's a big problem, but I really hope that both of these accessories had more usability. So these were my two cents and now let's see what I came up for the photo. Which is not much, a simple portrait. I like plot oriented photos more, but sometimes it's hard to come up with a worthy idea. Not wanting to end up with a simple photo, I decided to play a little with light. To make the laptop seem to be lit, I took two photos. One with laptop and one without it, but with a torch. After that I combined these two photos in Photoshop and the result isn't half bad. So here you go, a nice cute photo. I'm sure I will take more photos of Haibara. And I hope this whole video was useful for you. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in comments. Thank you for watching, it's been Tyson Figures, my name is Tay and bye!